Never a dull moment at the moment, is it, Jane? Now, honestly, we have lost the extreme heat, but look at this. Yes, we have got some flash flooding. Believe it or not, this was Lincolnshire uh, first thing this morning. In Hull Beach, they've seen 146 millimetres in 24 hours, way above the monthly average for August. But in actual fact, most of that rain fell between midnight and 6 a.m. And this was the story. You can see how extensive it was and the darker blues, the intensity of that rain. But some areas of Lincolnshire actually saw hardly any rainfall at all. This is the problem with showers, very hit and miss. Good afternoon. Further showers developing through the afternoon, heavy and potentially thundery. Now, widely across the southeast, there's a yellow weather warning in place for thunderstorms, but for parts of London, the southeast, parts of Essex, an amber weather warning now in force for thunderstorms there. They're likely to be a bit heavy. And I'll draw an imaginary line from the southwest to the northeast, anywhere south and east of that point. That's where the heaviest showers are likely to fall and could potentially locally lead to some flash flooding. Well, we have still this evening got an amber warning in place because some areas could still see some of these torrential downpours and thunderstorms in this short space of time. And as we've seen today, that can, of course, lead to flooding. But things should improve overnight for most areas. And tomorrow, a slightly different story. Drier, some sunny spells around, feeling a bit quite warm as well. And then Friday after maybe some early showers, that should be an improving story uh, as well. Hi there, Clive. Thank you very much. Good evening to you. It's been a very lively afternoon across the southeast of England. We've had some intense thunderstorms some flash flooding in places uh, plenty of lightning around as well whereas further north and west has actually been pretty quiet one of the consequences of this summer's heat wave has been a surplus of strawberries well becky's at a strawberry farm in essex so does that mean the farmers are happy then becky it really does i'm still trying to get used to talking about rain after it's been dry for so long and listen to this I love the rain. Yes, I'm not going to start singing, singing in the rain because, frankly, I'm not quite sure that you're all ready for that gloriousness. But certainly there has been a lot of rain in the last 24 or so hours. Certainly for Hull Beach in Lincolnshire, they had their wettest day on record. They recorded 14 centimetres. We normally talk in millimetres, but it sounds better in centimetres. 14 centimetres of rain in 24 hours and nearly eight of that fell in just two hours. That's more than a month's worth of rain in just two hours. So certainly an awful lot of rain still. And the rain arrived here at Camus Hall Fruit Farm on the Hertfordshire border as a last. After one of the driest and sunniest seasons in living memory, the welcome rain felt like a shock to the system. At least it left plenty of strawberries for us, though, as visitors ran for cover. So it's been winning and losing, really, the weather for farmers this year. So um, we've had some of the most beautiful strawberries I've ever grown. Because of all the sunlight and the sunshine, they've been super sweet. Um, again, the raspberries, the blueberries, the blackberries, they've absolutely been stunning. But some crops have really suffered, uh, namely the sunflowers, which the later crops have actually failed. The sweet corn are very stunted and only like one or two cobs on. And some of our pumpkins are a bit smaller than usual. So thunderstorms still a possibility in the next 24 or so hours. So let's start off with those warnings then. The Met Office have upgraded to an amber weather warning in the far southeast for those thunderstorms. That expires at 10 o'clock this evening. But generally speaking, we have a warning in place, a yellow warning for those thunderstorms that stretches across much of southern parts of the UK. And over the next few days, well, certainly we are expecting to see those thunderstorms ease. It's less humid in the south, but rain arrives in the north. Not this very lively rain, though. It's more sort of rain business as usual. Let's get the detail then. If we look ahead to this evening and overnight, you can see we do still have the risk of those thunderstorms in the south for a while, but then they tend to move mostly off the scene and it becomes a calmer, still quite humid night in the south, rain arriving across those northwestern parts. It's, but it's a sort of steady rain rather than the really torrential bursts. And from a temperature point of view, as I say, it is going to be still humid in the south, but fresher further north. So plenty of strawberries left for me. Back to you in the studio. I'll bring you some. Yeah, make sure you do, Becky. Thank you. And so we've already heard today about uh, heavy rain, uh, downpours and some flooding taking place, but it's, it's not enough yet to deal with this drought that we've been having, is it? Not really, Asa. This has been good rain for local gardens. Uh, so gardeners grow as happy, but the water table, river level, still running uh, very low. We need more persistent rain around. But some of these thunderstorms have been torrential. It's no wonder the Met Office did issue amber warning for the capital and for many of the home counties as well up until later this evening.
And after weeks of dry weather, heavy downpours have caused flush flooding in and around London, but it's not been enough to stop Thames Water from announcing a hosepipe ban for its 10 million customers. Have a good evening. Bye for now.